Hey guys, this is Lee. What's up? It's been a while. I've been on a much needed vacation. I'm back now, so it's about high time I showed you these blooms before they just fade away. So let's check them out. So first up, we've got this little guy here. It's a Dendrobium, Dendrobium Inobi Purple Splash. Um, to be honest, I never cared much about dendrobium I guess and I was never really lucky with uh, dendrobiums. They always died on me and I bought this plant I think two years ago and this also died and then somehow I managed to save a little uh, new growth and then this new growth developed these actually quite beautiful flowers. They're not too big but they have this nice pinkish or lilac um, edge here. Um, maybe I'm keeping them all wrong. I think I've been overwatering all the time that somehow this thing here survived. The way I'm keeping it is just in uh, some sphagnum moss and uh, um, bark and some ceramics and uh, I think I need to keep it a little bit drier. Uh, it's sitting on a windowsill, nothing too special. You can see it's almost uh, the bloom is on the, its way out. But uh, all in all it's a cute little pretty orchid. Not much fragrance, actually no fragrance at all. Then the next guy is that Colmenara hybrid I got two years ago, something like that, two or three years ago, I don't recall. And uh, last year it gave me a very, very, very nice uh, bloom with a very, very long um, flower spike. This year, although I did everything just the same, this year somehow it didn't quite bloom all that well but the flowers are the same, this dark red. It has a certain fragrance to it. To me, it doesn't smell very appealing. It smells like, well, nothing good. <laughs> and um, the way I'm keeping it is uh, quite simple. It's in a self watering pot. It's um, sphagnum moss and uh, some bark, some ceramics. That's all there is to it. Um, I'll just top up some water, uh, reverse osmosis water, and um, yeah, uh, I fertilize with about 50 ppm. Don't know if that's enough, but that's what my Miltoniopsis get, and I'm too lazy to uh, make up an extra solution. Um, it's too dry. <laughs> I haven't watered it for quite a while, but this plant is very forgiving. The pseudobolts will shrink, um, as you can see here, if it's too dry, um, but they will plump up immediately if you give them water. So um, that's fine. Let's check out the roots. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. They're white. I haven't been watering for quite a while. It's all dry up on the top, um, but I think it's okay. And um, yeah, it's actually a nice plant, but just the fragrance is um, not to my nose. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Some people say it smells good. For me, it smells like bad teeth. <laughs> so next one up is one of my all-time favorites, the Milton Yopses. Why is it one of my all-time favorites? It's not just because of this these beautiful... Uh, flowers. I mean, they come in different colors and in different uh, patterns. Um, but is the fragrance? If you guys could smell this right now, I don't know how to describe it. It's very strong fragrance. If you sit too close, your eyes will burn. <laughs> um, but it's a very strong, rosy, citrusy fragrance. This is actually um, one of my first fragrant. I think it's the the first fragrant orchid that I bought, I just passed by 
in a garden center and I didn't even see the flower or the plant. I just passed by and noticed a beautiful fragrance and um, then I saw this and then I remembered a video by Miss Orchid Girl about Milton Yopsis. I'm like, oh, this has got to be a Milton Yopsis and I bought it right away. I messed it up. Um, but I got this one as a, a gift from my friend Andre and uh, it finally bloomed. It took quite a while until it, this one bloomed. I don't know why. And it finally bloomed this year. Actually, I broke off, I snapped off a flower spike. Otherwise, it would have been three flower spikes. It is so beautiful. Um, the fragrance is really, really something I would recommend. Um, it's worth um, having a Miltoniopsis in your home, although they're considered to be quite finicky. In fact, um, Right now I have a problem with my Miltoniopsis because I have kept too many too close and they acquired some kind of pests. Well, um, it's a good way to reduce, I guess, because uh, too many orchids can become a burden. The way I'm keeping this one is in uh, Leisphager moss. This one is in pure Leisphager moss and uh, the live sphagnum moss is not all that green at this moment because this plant has been standing um, on the table actually and um, not on artificial light for quite a while now and um, yeah it's just a very beautiful beautiful plant with a very beautiful beautiful scent so guys, get yourself a Miltoniopsis. Then last but surely not least is my Miltonidium Dr. Peter Comp, something like that. Um, I don't know much about this plant. Um, it, it's, it was a gift from a friend and um, it's some Oncidium hybrid thing. This is definitely by far the most rewarding orchid that I have um, because I just do nothing <laughs> and it blooms very reliably every year with a very showy bloom, a very fragrant bloom. It smells of cinnamon, a sweet, thick, thick fragrance. It reminds me, it always, remind, always reminds me of Christmas and somehow it blooms earlier and every, earlier every year. Um, first time I got it was in November and then the next year bloom, bloomed in October and um, well it's October but it has been booming for quite a while now. I just uh, didn't uh, shoot the video. This guy I just counted gave me nine flower spikes on one plant and um, the way I'm keeping it, it, it is not very beautiful or not very clean to see. Um, it's just in reverse osmosis water with like 50 ppm of fertilizer and it just sits on a windowsill. That's all it does. And um, I actually removed some older pseudobulb last year because as always the new growth are growing too high and I have the new, they have a problem with getting their roots down into um, the water um, but uh, it uh, didn't have a problem after I uh, removed the older pseudobulbs and it just kept on growing look at these roots unfortunately there were some roots that went up but there are enough roots that are down there in the water so just look at these flowers they look like a giraffe but have this nice purplish reddish lip is really a very showy bloom and um, but I have to think of a solution for the pseudobulbs. I mean, I have to change the pot again, I guess. I don't know what I will do. Um, I don't want to split this plant um, because I want a very, very showy bloom, right? There's another spike there. 
here yeah very nice Miltonidium Dr. Peter Komp okay that's it for this time have a great weekend everybody bye